The fallout from the Rich Neck school shooting continues. The Commonwealth's attorney in Newport News released a report on the indictment of the school's former assistant principal. Ebony Parker faces eight counts of child abuse in connection with that January 2023 shooting of teacher Abby Zwerner. The report outlines how the charges came about. Down at your side's Michelle Wolf gives you a look. The eight charges of felony child neglect represent each of the bullets in the six-year-old boy's possession when he shot first grade teacher Abby Zwerner. The more than 20-page report contains a timeline of January 6, 2023 and reveals Werner took the boy to lunch where he immediately showed signs of aggression and threatened to beat up a kindergarten student. Several other teachers shared concerns about the child that day to Parker after students told them he had a gun. Parker took no action. A counselor asked Parker if the boy's backpack had been checked and if he could check it. Parker said no, hold off, and that his mom would pick him up soon. 10 on your side exclusively spoke with Zwerner's attorneys Wednesday about the special grand jury's findings. There were clear and obvious acts that should have been taken. Just before 2 p.m., the boy shot Zwerner and tried firing again as he stared her down. He had a full magazine of bullets and his gun jammed after the initial gunshot. His classmates ran across the hall. Parker, who was in the main office at that time, locked herself in her office when she was told someone's been shot and did not open the door until police arrived. A young boy and his grandmother were left to fend for themselves in the main office, with the boy hiding behind a copy machine. The report revealed Richneck faculty and staff had not participated in safety drills leading up to the shooting. There were certainly security issues that day. Um, and just to learn about the lack of the students or the teachers um, being trained in how to deal with these emergencies. The day Parker resigned, law enforcement executed two search warrants for the child's academic file. Each student has two copies. One of the boy's files was found in the home of Dr. Lakeish Parrott, the director of elementary school leadership. She claims it was in her car. All disciplinary records were missing. What happened in the three weeks between the shooting and the police serving their search warrant? Who had access to those files? Why were those files at the home of an employee of the school board? Who directed her to take the files? The second copy of the file, said to have been in Zwerner's classroom, was never located. I think the cover-up is evident in the special grand jury's report. The report called for an investigation into the missing files to see if Parrott should be charged with obstruction of justice. We'll hear more from the Commonwealth attorney in Newport News tomorrow. Michelle Wolf, 10 on your side.